good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure. I don't know if you'd call it news. I guess it's kind of news. We got some new reveals and stuff like that, but it's not like a ton of epic stuff. But we do have some interesting things taking place that I think that you guys will be very... Uh, some of you will be very excited for. Some of you may be like, ah, whatever. And then some of you will be like, oh, what the hell's going on right here, Brad? So I figured it would be good enough to post up to you guys and let you guys know about. So I figured we could get in here and let you guys know about it today. I'm expecting AEW Series 4 four pictures to be released in the next few days so you can also be stay tuned for that but before we get into this stuff guys i do want to give a huge shout out to my man christian unstable 1047 link to his channel is in the description below he always is posting up news and stuff like that so without his knowledge and without his inside sources and things of that nature i would not know any of this so a huge shout out to him for that guys but let's go ahead and get into the news here today guys so let's start things off with this first thing now this is not really a figure that's coming right now or anything like that but it is very interesting news because Jeff Jarrett actually has settled in court. If you guys don't know who Jeff Jarrett is, well, I think you're living under a rock, Brad. So Jeff Jarrett, you guys know he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. I know he was like entrant number one or two in the Royal Rumble that like a couple years ago. And I know a ton of people have been wanting Jeff Jarrett elite figures and, you know, just WWE figures in general. So Jeff Jarrett was a part of a lawsuit, which is why he was not involved in the Mattel creation for figure process. You know, he wasn't up for eligibility. He wasn't signed under a legend deal. He was in the middle of a lawsuit or a pending lawsuit, and now that has settled. It has been settled, so I'm guessing that Mattel or, or WWE should reach out to him and get him under a Legends deal very soon. Again, we don't know if it's going to be... We don't know how soon it could be. It could be forever from now. We don't know, but I'm sure that, you know, everybody wants him under a deal, and they could get some cool merch and things of that out of Jeff Jarrett, and I'm sure he would be interested in that as well. So, Hopefully this means that we're going to be getting a Jeff Jarrett figure really, really soon. So that's not really any figure news there, but it could be. You know, th this could be a potential figure that we get very, very soon, maybe in the next year or so. After that, guys, the other day, Unstable posted this up, and I can't remember where he got this from. I don't know if this was, like, on the forums or somewhere, guys, but we have this basic ring right here, and it is a basic WrestleMania 36 ring. You guys can see there. It comes with a basic John Cena figure and a basic Bray Wyatt. Same Bray Wyatt basic that we've seen. I I swear to God, we've seen that John Cena maybe about 50, 11 times, man. It's been it's been quite a many a times. And we've seen that Bray Wyatt, of course. We got it this year. I said it was one of the best basics of the year. But this time, it is in blue slacks instead of the khaki pants. And then you have the John Cena in the Super Showdown attire with the regular, you know, modern John Cena smiley head sculpt with the hair and then the blue armbands and like that. But it comes with the WrestleMania 36 ring here, and I guess, I, I don't know, man, I mean, I guess the Bray Wyatt's kind of cool if you want a different look for your Bray Wyatt, but outside of that, man, I mean, this match really didn't even take place that long in the ring, right, most of it was like skits, and like, kind of like time traveling, and doing some weird cinematic stuff in that cinematic match that they had at WrestleMania 36, so, I don't know, man, I just think this is kind of a wasted, you know, basic ring, I mean, I, I don't know, I guess it's a way to promote that Bray Wyatt, get some more sales out of that Bray Wyatt, but the John Cena, maybe they think pairing John Cena, one of the top sellers with, you know, Bray Wyatt and putting them in there with that basic ring. I don't know how well basic rings do. I imagine they do pretty damn good because imagine you're five, six years old, Brad. Your mom goes down the aisle. She sees a ring. It's like, oh, well, little Timmy would love the little ring. So they get the ring and they don't really think about it being, the, you know, the size and elites and all that stuff. They just think, oh, John Cena figure. Oh, Bray Wyatt. Also, my kid loves Bray Wyatt. The Fiend, Firefly Funhouse, Bray Wyatt. There he is. Grab them both together with the ring. So I guess it is a pretty good business strategy right there. But for, you know, big time collectors and stuff, I just don't see what we could use this for outside of giving our Bray Wyatt a, you know, a secondary look with the blue slacks and all of that. I'm not big on the basic rings, but why should I, Brad? They're not made for me. So there you go. I thought that was a very interesting thing that I wanted to show you guys, but that is that. Next up, guys, we have a very interesting thing that took place. Now, this is uh, something that Christian pointed out. Now, I don't know who let him know about it. I don't know if he found it himself or if somebody brought it to his attention, but apparently on the Target app or, or somewhere on the Target app or the Target web Website, they posted up a WWE Elite Stevie Ray 2021. Now, this is very 
odd to me. Of course, we know we got a WWE Elite Stevie Ray in Elite Series 46. Now, this is that is the image that they put with this, but I don't know, you know, is this uh, the comings of a new Stevie Ray coming in 2021? I don't know why it would be by itself. That's my only, you know, th I think it may be a mistake, but it is worth noting maybe if you're a big, you know, Harlem Heat, Booker T, Stevie Ray fan. If we are getting a new Stevie Ray, I would guess just like Christian did that it would probably be a NWO attire. I don't really see it being anything else other than that unless we get Booker T and Stevie Ray together in a, uh, you know, in matching attire or something like that. So I can see that too, but I don't know. I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see about that. But I thought that was very interesting to see, nonetheless, a, you know, a little glitch there on the website. Do you guys remember, was it like a year and a half or two years ago before John Morrison even signed with the company? You guys remember Amazon posted up John Morrison Elite Figure 2020 or 2019 or something, and everybody in the community was farting in bags and smelling it, thinking that, you know, oh, this is John Morrison confirmed. And then we ended up getting John Morrison. John Morrison actually ended up coming to the company, but that was like way before he signed, I'm pretty sure. But then we ended up getting a couple of new John Morrison. So did Amazon know, Brad? Were they in the know? Did they know way in advance? I don't know, Brad. Conspiracy theory, that right there. But WWE Elite Stevie Ray possibly coming very soon. So we had the Jeff Jarrett news. We had the Stevie Ray 2021 figure that's a possibility. We had the basic ring with John Cena and Bray Wyatt. And then this this one was kind of wacky to me. Now, I know this, this looks very official to me, so I don't think this would be fake. But Christian posted this on his Instagram here, and you guys will notice that it's an Elite 83 Drew McIntyre, but if you look closely, I don't think you even have to look closely, Brad, look at the red arrow pointing at the championship. That is not a WWE title, ladies and gentlemen. That is a Blue Universal Championship coming with the Elite 83 Drew McIntyre. Now, I don't know how they would have, you know, this... The, like, I, I guess there was just a Universal Championship on site, so I guess this figure was originally scheduled to come with the Universal Championship, but then they ended up scrapping it because Drew didn't win the Universal Championship. Was it supposed to be a WWE Championship, and all they had was a Universal Championship on hand, and the people that took the photos didn't know, and then they just kind of, you know, they did the product shots, and then it was like, oh shit, that's not right. Just scrap it. Just scrap it. So then they got rid of it, and we didn't get a WWE title with Drew McIntyre. I don't know, because if you think about it, the, when Drew McIntyre wore the attire from the Elite 83, wasn't it from his match with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship? I'm pretty sure that is the exact attire he wore. In the Elite 83 figure, it was from Mania, where he won the WWE Championship. So I would guess maybe this figure was supposed to come with the WWE Championship. All they had was the Universal Championship on hand, so they put that in there thinking that was the correct thing. I don't know. I don't know what the hell the plan was, Brad, but I think it's very, very interesting to see. And I think it'd be pretty badass. What if somebody were to get the figure looking like that from the factory? Like, if you were to get that sealed and everything like that, I feel like that would be worth a pretty penny. But the Drew McIntyre coming with the Blue Universal Championship is very interesting. And I think that is a pretty cool shot right there to see. Or, you know, maybe he's meant to win the Blue Universal title. Who the hell knows? But if I had to guess, I would guess that it was supposed to be the WWE Championship it got scrapped at the last second or it ended up being like a misprint or something so they just scrapped it all together and decided to give him no championship. But that pretty much does it for this video guys. That's all the news that I have for you today. If we get any more news or any images or anything like that I will definitely put them up to you guys but tomorrow I do believe the full collection video is going up in the morning guys. You're not going to want to miss that. That is going to be an epic video. Cannot wait for you guys to see the epic collection. Hope you all come by and watch it. However before we get out of here though I do want to give a huge shout out to a random commenter and this comment, shout out, is going to go to HWA Wrestling. He says, Dustin Rhodes has no accessories except a slightly off-center eye. Everyone, you crossed the line. That was funny. That made me chuckle a little bit, so I had to shout out HWA right there. Really, really good stuff. So he shout out to HWA. I just thought, you know, it's kind of a savage comment. Kind of got me in the chuckles right there. At least it wasn't a Shawn Michaels figure. No, but in seriousness, though, huge shout-out to HWA, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you guys did enjoy. What do you think of all this stuff? Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the collection video tomorrow. But if you end up not showing up for the collection video, then I guess... You cross the line.